Hello everyone, this is Paris for Lily, and I just had a dream a few weeks ago about Dr. Hoof's Adventures Goodnight spin-off series. Yeah, this dream, I really liked it, so I decided to share it with you. So let's get started. It started off with Goodnight taking a bath. All of a sudden, a strange looking bug appeared on the shower edge. Goodnight yelped a bit when she first saw it, but she stayed calm, yet frozen. The bug opened its mouth wide, staring directly at her. She got out of the tub and ran into her parents' room. Dad, there's a giant bug in the bathroom! Her father grabbed the tissue and went into the bathroom. Alright, where is it? He asked. It was right there, Goodnight said, pointing to the edge of the bathtub. Don't worry, we'll find it, the dad said. Goodnight looked down. It was crawling on the floor. She had only been gone a few seconds, and the bug crawled down the tub and to the other side of the room in that time. Okay, it's right here, Goodnight said, as the bug scurried under a counter. The father got it and flushed it. See, it's fine. The father left the room. When Goodnight came out, there was a sound getting louder in her room, and a gust of wind, which Goodnight had to put a hoof on her forehead to keep the hair out of the way. The TARDIS came into view, and the doctor came out. Hello, Goodnight. Goodnight gasped. Doctor? The TARDIS shook suddenly dematerialized, and then rematerialized around Goodnight 2 before taking off. The doctor frantically tried to get control of the TARDIS. When the TARDIS stopped, the two came out. They were not at Goodnight's home anymore. A stallion with mane similar, similar to Rainbow Dash came up to the TARDIS. He had a lot of Pinky's personality. Hi, Goodnight. Hi, Doctor. Do you want to see something? The stallion said. Actually, we have to, the doctor started, but was interrupted by the stallion grabbing the two, making them grunt. The land was beautiful. It had candy and plants and animals and rainbows all over the place. The ground was rocky. The doctor and Goodnight walked over to a group of animals that were piling up onto each other. Much like in the song, I Just Can't Wait to Be King in Lion King. They started to sing. It was hard to make out the lyrics, but it sounded much like Giggle at the Ghosties in MLP Friendship is Magic Part 2 and Food Glorious Food in Ice Age Tale. The doctor raised an eyebrow at Goodnight. Goodnight stared at the doctor. To both of their shock, another doctor was on his back at the top of the pile. Another good knight was on top of him. She was wearing a white headband, and her voice was clearly scratchier. They were more happy and carefree than either of them remember being, but it was clearly them. Good knight started to sing. She even hung upside down on the doctor's back. The doctor watched her happily. The two of them on the ground stared blankly. The ground rumbled beneath them. Doctor, what are we standing on? Goodnight asked. We're on a marshmallow. The doctor replied. The marshmallow exploded into green goo. The doctor and Goodnight's bodies were halfway out of the goo. The stallion, who was also singing, was also in it. They went through a cave, and they were released from the goo on the other side, making them both feel with relief. The stallion went over to them when the song was over. Woohoo! Wasn't that fun? The stallion asked. The doctor stared at him as Goodnight jumped out from behind him, walked over to the doctor, and stared at the stallion too. That dream was weird, but it was good. Didn't make a lot of sense, but it was good. 
and the land that they went to looked like a mix between our land and vegetation and well candy land if you've ever seen the commercials and coming attractions from the early 21st century you would most likely know what I'm talking about but it really looked like some place that my subconscious just made up since neither the doctor nor I when I woke up could recognize it and even though it was a dream it doesn't save it from the plot holes such as Goodnight and her dad were okay with killing a bug intentionally for some reason and the doctor lost control of the TARDIS and ended up at Goodnight's house for some reason and the stallion knew them somehow and I suppose it was the future them that was also there and it didn't create a paradox and well this is a weak justification but te technically the future them never saw them there in the other paradoxes that we've seen both the future and the past selves have to see or come into contact with each other for there to be a paradox. Here, the future of them never seem to notice. It doesn't mean it makes any more sense. I'm just saying I can see why it didn't create a paradox. But the list comes on and on. But it was still a really good dream. And even though it was filled with plot holes, dream logic. Thank you guys for listening. This has been a Perry Swirl Lily video. I also write fan fiction on Peppermint Swirl 4812. Artwork was made on paint, and the bases were found on deviantart.com. Dr. Host Adventures belong to Pony in a Box, and the Goodnight Spinoff series also belongs to Pony in a Box. Pictures were found on Google. See you guys next time. Onwards and upwards.